Connie Trepania, and I am a member of the One Book Committee. Today's celebration marks the conclusion of BCC's second annual One Book Project, and I want to thank you all for joining us today. We have a wonderful program in store for you. Of course, this project would not have happened without the various kinds of support of the campus community from all levels. This semester, 30 instructors have used the book with about 800 students across many different subject areas. Occupational therapy, English, psychology, adult basic education and GED, the e-health initiatives, art, and many more. Thank you to all of our sponsors and please do check them out on the back of our beautiful programs. And thank you to all of you who have supported this project in so many ways. The subject, of course, of our second annual One Book Project has been Tuesdays with Maury. And I'm going to ask you all to pretend for a minute that today is Tuesday. Surely in some part of the world it is still Tuesday. And pretend that you are Mitch, Maury's lifelong student, and I, I am Maury, your teacher and mentor. Hopefully, you have to stretch your imagination a little bit for that one. <clears throat> Good to see you, Mitch. I would like to begin your lesson today with one of my personal favorites. It is on getting meaning into life. So many people walk around with a meaningless life. They seem half asleep. Even when they're busy doing things they think are important. This is because they're chasing the wrong things. The way you get meaning into life is to devote yourself to loving others, devote yourself to your community around you, and devote yourself to creating something that gives you purpose and meaning. That's your lesson for today, Mitch. And in that spirit, I would like to welcome and introduce Dr. Jack Sprager, president of BCC, and invite him to say a few words. Well, thank you, Connie, and good afternoon, everyone. What an exciting adventure this is. Uh, I'm so pleased about the success of the One Book Club, and as you uh, look on the back of the program, uh, maybe it's the front of the program, that has all the listing of the faculty uh, who used the book and uh, integrated it into their, uh, into their curriculum. Uh, I'm so, uh, so excited that this is really taking hold. Um, it's good to have, and who knows uh, how many other faculty and other courses uh, use uh, some themes from uh, uh, Tuesdays with Maury uh, in, their, in their classes as well. Uh, and uh, to have a leap motif uh, run through our curriculum uh, like this, uh, like this one book project, is uh, something that brings unity uh, to our efforts, uh, brings meaning, I think, for students. They can kind of see that there's a sociolo sociology uh, perspective uh, on this topic, uh, biology and philosophy and all kinds of other interdisciplinary activities going on around the same theme, uh, and uh, the central theme anyway. And uh, I'm very excited about it. I want to thank everyone. I start uh, naming names, I'm going to get in trouble. But uh, I do want to thank the One Book Committee uh, for its continued efforts. Uh, it wasn't easy to get started last year. And, uh, and here we are again uh, this year, uh, second annual success. Uh, and we want to keep going. And uh, I'm very grateful to the people who participated uh, in some way in this very important project for the college. Today we're going to celebrate uh, the, uh, some award winners uh, in the art and the posters and the writing uh, about the topic, as well as enjoy uh, this wonderful music that uh, will follow. So I uh, thank you again for coming. I, I hope that you'll continue to participate in the One Book uh, 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 program in some way, supporting it or actively involved or whatever, it can, whatever you might be able to do. And I thank Connie, and I'm going to turn it back to Connie now as we proceed with the program. Thank you again for coming. Thank you, Connie. Thank you, thank you President Sprager. It is now my pleasure to introduce Debbie Diesick, one of my old friends and mentors, who will award the prizes for the art and essay contest.
Good afternoon. It's a pleasure to be here on behalf of the Alumni Association and the BCC Foundation to announce the winners of this year's Art and Essay Contest. I want to thank all the students who entered and all the judges who took the time to make what I'm sure were very difficult decisions. We're going to start with the Art Contest. When I call your name, students, if you'd come up to the stage to receive your award. In Art, honorable mention goes to Jennifer Cabral. I guess Jennifer's not here. Okay. Second place, there was a tie, so we have two prizes. The first second place award, which is sponsored by the art department, goes to Jennifer Moore. The second second place prize goes to Bethany Brazil. In first place at the art contest for this year goes to Mallory Harvey. Now for the essay contest. Honorable mention goes to Melissa Sower. Second place goes to Catherine Monahan. And this year's winner of the essay contest is Scott Myers. Congratulations to all the winners. Thank you. Thank you, Debbie, and congratulations. If you read the book, you will know that Maury loved music, all kinds of music, and he loved to dance, didn't even need a partner. I think he would be delighted to know that we wrapped up our one book project with our next guest performers. And if you've never heard a klezmer band before, you're in for a real treat. Immediately after the performance, please join us in the brick area downstairs where you will be able to meet the performers, enjoy some coffee and pastry, and offer your nomination for the next one book. And now, please welcome Bresler's Klezmer and Hasidic Ensemble, who will entertain us with some intergalactic soul music.
something I feel is a significant part of Jewish music, no matter what part of the world, different parts of the world, different cultural styles. But that's a sense of spiritual longing. And uh, a sense of spiritual longing is not inc incompatible with joy. There's, there's bitterness, there's yearning, there's sometimes there's sadness, but there's joy at the heart of it. And uh, this is a very beautiful piece. The words come from the book of Psalms. Lead me to sorry, my, my heart and my flesh long for you, for the living God. Um, so this piece is one particular musical setting of it from uh, the Hasidim who are based in Boston, Massachusetts, the Boston Hasidim.
next to the room more upbeat if the Hasidic style dance to Hasidim are Jews for whom music is especially important. Music and dance are ways of celebrating and making your whole life a life of worship. So if you want to take a lease from Maury's book and just keep me out and dance, you can do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Okay. That was it. Every now and then, Sean told us the stage gave it verse. So that was a burp, it won't burp again for 40 minutes. Is that right? Did I say anything that burps it? is um, a Turkish style tune. Jewish music has picked up influences from various places that it's been, and one of them is Turkish music, which has influenced a lot of things. Beth Cohen here on violin is uh, an expert in Turkish music and Greek music, as well as several other styles. Uh, this is 
not specifically Turkish anymore. It's Turkish Jewish, Turkish style, right? In fact, in Yiddish, this is called this kind of tune is called a Turkish. So this tune is a famous tune, well known in many cultures under different names, and we won't fight about whose tune it is, right? But it's called Uskadar or Uman Uman, or in this case, the Jewish recording of this called the Dirt of America. <coughs> <laughs>
uh, is a Hasidic style tune, like the one we did earlier. Say Oi Tata, which means Oh Father. But in Yiddish, it's just not like in English. Oi is roughly equivalent to O, oh, but it's like the relationship of O oh to Oi is kind of like lime jello to a nice, rich thing fried with lots of oil and onions and like that. So Oi is like the oil and onions. So Oi Tata, Oh Father. So it's a prayer for someone who just wants to pray. It goes like this. Thank <laughs> you. 